What does a person need to understand in order to have eternal life? What, what are the facts of salvation? Well, let's talk about it. The Bible's pretty clear that all of us have sinned. We've all disobeyed God. We've broken His commandments. We've done our own thing. All of us have sinned. The problem is sin has a price tag. Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death. Death meaning separation. Physical death, the separation of your soul from your body. Spiritual death, the separation of your soul from God. Eternal death, the separation of your soul from God forever. That's bad news, but there's good news. You see, 2,000 years ago, God became one of us. God sent his son Jesus, and Jesus never sinned. He was 100% God, and he knew no sin. He experienced no sin. So instead of deserving death as a result of his sin, Jesus deserved life. Instead of separation from God, he deserved union with God. But on the cross 2,000 years ago, he became sin for us. He came and experienced our death our separation. In fact, he even cried out, not my father, but he said, my God, my God, you have forsaken me. You have separated yourself from me. Jesus died for me. Jesus died for you. That is an amazing thing. But that still won't save you. What saves you is when you realize that Jesus died for you and you put faith in Jesus as your Savior. John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life and union with God. Have you put faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior? When you do that, this transaction takes place. And His righteousness becomes your righteousness, and you receive God's gift of eternal life, and you are born again into eternal life. Would you like to receive Jesus as your Savior? Would you like to believe on Him by faith and be saved today? You can be. I'm going to lead you in a simple prayer. Now, the prayer won't save you, and it's not magic words, but the meaning of the prayer, if you mean it, and you believe it and you commit yourself to it, you could be saved. I'm going to say a phrase of the prayer, and if you like, you can repeat it to God after me. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, I admit that I have sinned. I understand that my sin means that I'm separate from you. I thank you that Jesus Christ never sinned. Thank you that he died on the cross to pay for my sin. Thank you that he rose again from the dead to give me eternal life. Right now, by faith, I call upon the name of the Lord Jesus to save me. I commit my life to Jesus. I ask you to save me, God. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer and you meant it, please put a comment there telling me that under this video. Also, watch more of these videos. They'll help you grow in your faith and make sure you find a good Bible-believing church that you can be involved in because that's where you will really grow. I uh, want to tell you God bless you. I certainly want to see you again in heaven, and if, if not, down here on earth. God bless you.